All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I'm going to turn and face the east towards Jerusalem and start by giving infinite in all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. All right, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. Double honors unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone of whom I've learned is 100% truth and who rules very well and oversees the tabernacle of David. Shout out to the Zaquan, the elder of the men of Israel, Kent, the elder Chazak, whom I teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina, and a healthy wa a hearty shalom to you, achim wa akwathim, you brethren and sisters who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and, ch and trembling toward your salvation. All right, so y'all say shalom, and that's Hebrew for peace. All right, this is the Ach Alaya Ban Yehuda, the brother Elijah, the son of Judah. And I'm coming back with another uh, Hebrew tongue prayer, right? Uh, prayer in the Lashawan Kodash, the holy tongue, the Ibaria, which is the Hebrew. And um, as you see, this prayer is based off of Numbers chapter 23 and verse 23 in the KJV, as it reads, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath Yahweh wrote, wrought, or God wrought, right? So as you can see, this is even a prayer uh, that you can say in, in the Ibariath, in the Hebrew tongue. As you see, it's a prayer for protection from evil intentions, right? All types of enchantment, spells, or sorcery, or magic, whatever form it may consist of, right? Uh, we understand through the spirit and power of your help, Hashem Shai, that they have none effect on us. Those who are sincerely in this truth and rehearsing the righteous acts of faith, even towards the name of your help, Hashem Shai, we understand that that none of those enchantments and spells have any effect on us, as Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, intercedes on our behalf and you know fights for us, right? So this is that same scripture, but um, in the prayer format, you know, I, I I start off my prayers once again facing towards the east. Right, and, and I start off by saying, uh, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, right, which is Hebrew for please, and I say it three times, right? So, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, and then reading on down through the rest of the prayer, you would say, Kaka Tawab, right, which means as written, Basapar in book, Tharoth, La Masha, Moses, Kaya. For la nachasha, no enchantment by which means in Jacob, wala kwasama, and not divination by Yasharala against Israel, kaita as time, ya amar shall say la yaikwa to Jacob, wala yasharala and to Israel, maha paila. What has wrought Allah power, or as it said, God, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, right? And you could also say Bahasham in the name Rachakwadash, the Holy Spirit, Aman, right? Which means so let it be, right? So I'll say all the Hebrew words in in succession, and um, you know, once again, Abarathazalot will, and this was edifying, right? So Kakatawab Basapar Tawarath Masha Kaya. La Nahaasha by Yaikwa, Wala Kwasama by Yasharala, Kaita, Yamar, La Yaikwa, Wala Yasharala, Maha Paila, Allah, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadash, Ama. All right, once again, that was Numbers chapter 23 and verse 23 in the KJV. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath God wrought? You know, so with that, I'm going to end it. Abba wrote to Lord willing, this was edifying to the sincere, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You know, also, I will go ahead and throw out there and recommend. I do recommend anointing yourself uh, before you go in to prayer. And also, maybe even lighting incense, frankincense, whether it be frankincense and or myrrh. Right. Those are some good incense that, that you can burn 
uh, while you pray, man. The, the Heavenly Father sees that as a, a sweet savor, you know. So, but, you know, once again, I brought to our Lord willing, this was edifying to the sincere, hopefully elect, the nation of Israel. Until next time, Achim Shalom.